Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralus, and this is the new Predator tank. I've been waiting for such a long time to get this thing set up and running again. Ever since the top race cracked, we had to take this tank down. So we have another mishap with the sump. Me cracking the bottom brace of the bulkhead. So this tank is finally back up and together. I wanted to show you guys firsthand what I did. Here is the sump. We used the 55 gallon tank that we just drilled. So this is our extra water and sump for this system. And it just flows right into the other tank sump. But we did the plumbing for that and got everything else running again. We just hung up some Kessels. Since this isn't really gonna be a coral tank, um, those lights are definitely underpowered for this tank. Anyone watching who's gonna let me know. But um, I'm gonna definitely go to the Ecotech Radeons, the G4s. But for the time being, those are over here until I get my giant carpet anemone and my blue ribbon eel and my porcupine puffer. So just wanted to show you guys, this is a tank empty. As we add things, I'll keep taking more and more videos. But this is the famous porthole tank. You can see it from both sides. It's really fun for some reason watching the fish through that porthole because they don't seem to really notice you as much and they tend to be more themselves. So right now this tank is empty. I'm gonna make a custom structure for the inside. It is gonna be not live rock. I'm actually gonna make it out of the epoxy. So that way I can design it my own way. And I have a couple ideas in mind especially with those giant carp anemones I want to put in here. I need to make some like Tonga-like structure with very little rock. I just want places to hide. Uh, so you can see over here we have the 220 display and that's all reef, everything in there is reef safe. So, so on to new things. There you guys go, feel free to leave your question comments below um, let me know if you have any cool ideas for some predator fish and stay tuned